What's going on everybody? It's Nate Matthews back with another one. Today is officially the first and or the last video of the year. I went ahead and shaved my head off camera and now on camera I'm going to show you guys a quick beard routine, how I get myself together. Off camera, already shaved my head again and then I went ahead and when I was in the shower I used this right here. This is some shampoo and conditioner from I think it's VO5. Alberto, right? Alberto VO5. This just so happened to be something that was sitting in the shower. I decided to give it a test um, a couple weeks ago and I said, hey, I actually like this stuff. It is very, uh, what, do you, what do you say? It's very stripping with the shampoo, but that makes you love the conditioner even more because it just brings so much life back to your beard. And I honestly feel like, you know, it, it low key makes my beard a little bit darker now it's not no type of uh no tint no type of dye i don't even do that or nothing but i guess it just gets my beard so clean so just i don't know it just looks like it's a little bit darker to me every time i go ahead and clean out the beard with that being said we're going to go ahead and get started we're using some tools that we have right over here we do have the wall detailer uh, lithium ion version so it is the wireless version we have our scalp master uh, the brush to clean those trimmers we do have three guards we have the one and a half the one and the half guard to go ahead and fade the beard you know just like we need to do we have the kent comb that i've actually had for quite some time still holding up very well none of the bristles or anything like that have broken and last but not least we do have the custom embroidered straight razor case that i designed myself as well as the Parker SR1 that goes inside of it. So with that being said, welcome to today's video. Go ahead and give this video a like because I know you guys are going to be forgetting already. So let's get this thing started off or ended off on the right, you know, on the right track. Like the video, subscribe, drop a comment. Otherwise, y'all going to be seeing some other types of videos. Let's get it. Almost forgot we do always have the pick in the lineup as well so I've already picked my beard but well, let's do it on camera for those of you who may want to follow along you feel me so comb it down comb it down comb it down go up underneath and comb it out now it does matter to me in the direction that I comb it because some of you guys might just try to go all the way back and, and just comb it all the way down then your beard is just gonna I guess hang down how you might want it but looking from the side profile I want mine to actually come off and not just be you know laying flat down I like it to come off in a certain direction so comb it in the direction that I want it to go and that's also the way that it will continue to grow we already had these bad boys charged up give them a quick wipe down there and get started by the way, I did make sure I put on a white shirt for those of you guys who be low-key complaining. Saying, we can't see the beard. You have a black shirt on. Your shirt is dark. So, guys, I have a white shirt on. So, no complaining, right? Thumbs up the video for that part in general. Starting up under the neck. Not too much uh, going down down there, right? I didn't let it grow too crazy. But we do want to clean it up a little bit. So, let's go ahead and get it done. Take it straight across, nice straight line. Now we'll go ahead and clean it up from the bottom. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and grab that scalp master again. And once again, I'm noticing why I choose really not to wear white shirts as I'm doing this. Because as you guys may be able to see now, my shirt is all dirty. So now, I'm going to have to get the... Uh, the low roller to clean myself up before I head out. So we'll go to the side, comb it out, making sure to comb away from the line that you're getting ready to go over so you can see exactly what you're doing. Look in the corner of the neck. Now this is the 
a good angle. I think I did. Y'all should be able to see it. The nice line I just put through there. So now, go ahead and comb it out. And repeat the same exact thing on the other side. This side is a little harder because, you know, I only got a mirror on this side of the wall. Don't got one over here, so I got to cross side and look straight ahead. Hopefully y'all can see. We're doing it nice and quick. Should I hit it with the front? I done told y'all I was going to use a straight razor, so I guess I should, right? Well, normally, when I use a straight razor, I do it on the front, and I don't use the uh, trimmers to line this part up. I only use a straight razor. But I still got to hit the mustache anyway, so we'll see how it turns out. Loose hairs all over my shirt. Man. Up next, mustache time. Y'all see what it's looking like. Not too bad. We're just gonna cut these uh, hairs going over the lip just slightly. Now let's head over to the straight razor. I did go ahead and put in a fresh blade. I forgot the brand of blade that I put in here though. Normally it's Persona, but I think it's a, a shark blade or something like that, or a super shark, something like that. I don't even know, but it's what I had on hand at the time when I needed a lineup, so it's still in here. And um, let's get it going. So, again, here's a close up of what we can see just a couple wild ones right there. It's still, you know, I, I maintain my beard, so it is, you know, noticeable where the lineup is at. It's not looking too rough, but it ain't crispy like we really need it for the first. Or the last video of the year right so let's go ahead and uh get crispy on them just trying to start from the high end of the mustache and i'll just try to go straight across and then start curving it around Make sure I comb it down as well. I'm trying to make sure I get a good angle for y'all to see, but normally I'd be real close up in the mirror over there on that side. It's coming along, y'all. What you think? You like it so far? Hit the thumbs up button. I gotta ask y'all consistently because y'all just be watching right through the video no matter how many times I ask. So go ahead and act like you didn't forget. And hit that button for a play. It feels like this blade is not that sharp too. So I guess that's a good thing because I told you normally I use Persona blades. Whatever blade this is, whether it's a shark or super shark or whatever, it came free with a, a different razor that I had and it was just sitting around. So I used it. I didn't have to crack it in half or nothing like that. It was already only half a blade. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about when I explain that, just go to my channel, watch videos. I've explained it before. But yeah, half a blade. So um, it's not the best blades but i mean it's decent but it's just not cutting as easy as uh what i'm used to and uh now that i'm looking i'm like do i need to fade it in yeah, I guess I will since I done already told y'all. So for that, take the guard back off. Start with the highest number, one and a half. And you know this whole shebang. Let's get it. Y'all just gonna watch me do it. I ain't got time to be telling y'all exactly what I'm doing, where to go, the pressure, the limits, everything. Just watch me. It don't take that long, but that's the good part. You know, practice, practice, practice. You'll get better, you'll get faster. But don't go too fast because then you might mess up like me on camera. Not that I messed up or nothing. I just, I'm hoping I don't mess up.
on to the next. Grabbing the one. Now, on to the last one, which is the half guard. Definitely could have done better with the, uh, I guess, the straight razor on the corners there. But that's what it is. And my camera is actually signaling to me that it's about to turn off. So before it cuts out, I'll just go ahead and give you all a close up right now. So this is what we were able to do. Fade came out decent. I guess the lineup is, is whatever. Let me know what y'all think in the comments below. I think everything is looking nice. Now I just got to go get all this extra hair off my shirt. Mustache is good. And uh, with that being said, man, before the camera die, I'll catch y'all next year or just in another day. I'll catch y'all another day. Peace out.